We're going to turn overseas where American Marines are launching a new fight in Afghanistan to help fight for territory they once held. The Taliban is back in control of the Helmand province where 349 Marines were killed between 2001 and 2014. Charlie Daggett had joined the Marines on their renewed mission. Good morning. When the U.S. Marines left Helmand province back in 2014, it was thought they had the job done. But not long after they left, the Taliban fought back, reclaiming a lot of that territory. Now the Marines are back, and we join them on what's become a very different mission. The last time U.S. Marines were in Helmand province, they were a fighting force numbering in the tens of thousands. We had a rifle company here at the Back end. then, Don't. Brigadier General Roger was Turner was a colonel. Did you think you'd be back here? No, I didn't. We knew that the mission was, was going to end in, in 2014, so I, I, I didn't think I'd be back here. Now. He is back, but this time his mission is dramatically different. Now he's in command of just 300 Marines training Afghans to fight for themselves. We joined them as they flew over Taliban-held territory about the only way American forces can safely move now. This was one of my positions. This undisclosed location used to be a U.S. Marine base. How hard of a fight do you think this is going to be? Now that fight is down to yeah, Afghan yeah, Brigadier yeah, General yeah, Wali yeah, Mohammed yeah, Ahmadzai, yeah, who stressed the urgent yeah, need for increased yeah, American yeah, support. Yeah, this yeah, war is not just yeah, ours, he said. Yeah, it's a war against yeah, international yeah, terrorism. If we had more forces here, we'd be able to, to partner down at lower levels and you can achieve results faster. You could use the numbers. We could use the numbers in the right places. American and Afghan commanders admit this new strategy is going to take more time, but the hope is this time Afghan forces will be able to hold on to that territory they've recaptured from the Taliban. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, Kabul.